Should I make a pickups, trades, and donations video with Tandy and Radio Shack specific items for Subtandy 2022? Let's ask my executive decision maker by Radio Shack. Definitely. Let's do this. Here we have the Tandy branded cereal mouse. I've been wanting a really nice condition cereal mouse to use with my Tandy 1000 TX for quite a while now, and I was able to finally track one down. Bring it up close to the camera here and show you. It is embossed with Tandy right here on the bottom. It's a nice two button clicky mouse. We have got the nine pin cereal connector right there. And on the back, we can see it is Tandy catalog number 25-1040C as in Charlie. And this thing is in, I'm going to say mint condition. It's really, really nice. And I got this on a local offer up uh, deal. So pretty cool to have that in the collection. Looking forward to getting it hooked up to my Tandy 1000TX. Let's move on to the next item. Here we have the Radio Shack TRS-80 Computer Products Model 4 and 4P Disk System Owner's Manual. I recently got this at an estate sale, and I have this in mind for a friend of mine, Cal. So Cal, if you're watching, I will be paying it forward and donating this to you. This is in great condition. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. It is complete. It's got all the tabs, all the pages. Even got the little page protector kind of thing there to keep things from, you know, getting all bent up and stuff. I'm not going to flip through all the pages, but I will turn this, or so I should say slide it this way. It actually has the original software in it. Let's try to get that in the shot here. Yeah, it's got the Model 4 TRS-DOS and basic interpreter, as well as the Model A slash 3 file uh, software. And my understanding with that software is to allow you to use Model 3 software on your Model 4 or 4P computer. So yeah, this is awesome. It's in really great shape. It's complete. I have already tested the software and I do know it works. So Cal, this will be heading your way soon. Let's move on to the next item. Next, we have the Tandy Computer Products Deluxe Joystick. Catalog number 26-3012B as in boy. I got this. This is one of those at the right place at the right time. I was going into a local retro video game store and occasionally they have computer stuff. And somebody brought this in as a trade and I was just kind of standing off to the side waiting for them to do their deal. And um, the store didn't want it. So I'm like, okay, cool. I'm going to keep an eye on this guy and see where he goes. And uh, he did some shopping and things. And then he left the store, went outside. I immediately followed him outside. And I said, hey, you got a Tandy joystick? He's like, yeah. I said, uh, what do you want to do with it? He was like, oh, I was hoping to trade and get some store credit, but they didn't want it. And I'm like, well, what are you looking for? You know, what, what kind of money or whatever, what kind of games? Maybe I have something you want. He goes, oh, I'd like to get some cash. I'm like, okay, what do you want? He's like, how about 20 bucks? Boom, paid him 20 bucks, and this thing is in crazy good condition. Uh, there is some damage on the box right here, a little bit of damage right here, but this thing is in great condition, especially for 20 bucks. So I'll just show you all the sides of the box here. And this I'm going to be using with my Tandy 1000 uh, TX as well, with the mouse that you saw earlier in the video. So let's see if we can get this open here. This slides off the top like so. And then you are presented with styrofoam, styrofoam box. And it's got this top piece that pulls off. Pull that off like so. And then next we have 
the manual. Let's pull that out of there. So here is the manual for the joystick. And this thing, I mean, it, it looks like it's never been used. It, I mean, it's super crisp. No writing appears to be on it. No staining. Here's the back. I won't look through all the pages, but yeah, it's in really nice shape. And then here's the actual joystick. Oh, yeah, it's, it's still it's still in a bag. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out. Be very, very careful. So, yeah, here is the joystick. I mean, it's, you know, it's in the bag. It's good. I'm actually going to take it out of the bag here so we can see it. I mean, look at that thing. Still got the, the cord wrap. I don't know if this is stock or I should say stock with factory. Anyone that's watching, if you know, is and then bought one of these new in the day. Is this how they came? Were they wrapped up like this? But I mean, look at this thing. It's it's perfect. It's in beautiful condition. No yellowing, no scuffs, no cable burn on the plastic. You got a button back here, button here. Let's show you the bottom. There's the bottom. So yeah. 20 bucks from a parking lot of a local retro video game store. And just heads up for anyone that's thinking of doing that, you know, as I mentioned, I did not solicit the guy inside the store. That would just be kind of a jerk move to do. But uh, I waited till he went outside. They didn't buy it. They didn't take it. So then I basically cornered him in the parking lot, got it for 20 bucks. All right, enough jibber jamber, and let's move on to the next item. Here we have a Tandy branded three and a half inch disc uh, floppy disc holder. It is branded Tandy in the top. I don't know if that's showing up in the camera. Can you see that? It says Tandy right there. And uh, yeah, this just pops open. This isn't anything too super fancy. It's just cool that it's branded Tandy. It's got some of the little disc spacers that you put in there to separate your discs. I got this from a friend of mine, Ian, in a trade. We're always doing trades and, you know, I like doing trades with friends and fellow YouTubers and stuff. You know, they have things I want or I have things they want, vice versa. You know, we just kind of trade and stuff. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Not much really to talk about and say. I mean, it's in good condition. I've already wiped it down a little bit. Um, I do need to give it a really good clean. I'm thinking about running it through the dishwasher with no heat just to kind of clean the insides and the outsides. I mean, I've tried wiping it down and it's still kind of grummy and goopy in some areas, but it looks pretty good. And again, got it from a friend in a trade and I'm going to use it to put in a three and a half inch uh, Tandy Radio Shack discs. All right, let's move on to the next item. Next, we have this Tandy branded five and a quarter inch floppy disc holder. For those of you that watched my Subtandy 2021 pickups, trades and donations video, you might remember I got one of these complete in box brand new. This one, however, is used and I got it at an estate sale. And even though it's not complete in box, it came filled with some Tandy software. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up and we'll show you some of the stuff that's inside the floppy holder, floppy disk holder. First, we have this Tandy branded head cleaner, catalog 26-408A is an Apple. This is used to clean the heads on a five and a quarter inch drive. You know, they sold it for Tandy drives, but you can use it on any five and a quarter drive. It actually looks like this one's never been used. This little piece here pops out. You put your alcohol or, you know, clean cleaner on there and run it through the drive. So that's cool to have this to use on my five and a quarter inch drive in my Tandy 1000 TX. There was also another one, but this one is Radio Shack Tourist 80 branded. And it is catalog 26-408. And that one has obviously been used and someone's marked off that they've cleaned their heads at least once. And, and also in here we've got this. We got superscripted for the TRS-80 Model 1. I do not have a Model 1. So I will be passing this along to a friend or a viewer that's got a Model 1 that would like to have some original software complete with the original sleeve there is a blank brand new trs 80 branded single-sided floppy disk pretty cool 
when I say it's brand new, but it's actually got a write protect on there, so there might be something on there. We'll have to find out. Mystery disc. Nothing on the back. And yeah, there's here's some like this is some pretty cool stuff. I've already looked in here. I'm pretty excited about this. We'll show you here. We've got um, Talking Word Attack Plus program and data disc for IBM Tandy and compatibles. That's pretty cool. An original disc. Then we've got uh, Word Attack Plus speech disc. And then we have Wheel of Fortune with Vanna White for Tandy with 16 colors. So this will be fun and colorful on my Tandy 1000 TX. And let's see what else I can show you in here. Uh, there's a lot of other discs in here, but I'm just going to pull this one out. Uh, this is MS-DOS GW Basic. The whole set of discs are here. You can kind of see here. Deskmate, Deskmate 2 sample data, another Deskmate, Deskmate uh, text calendar, address book, Dictionary, Hangman, Draw, Worksheet, PC Link, Telecom, Help Tutorials, Form Setup, and Filer. So that's pretty cool. Got all of this, like I said, at an estate sale. And I'm happy to have some original software and another Tandy branded floppy disk holder. Let's grab the last and final item in my Pickups, Trades, and Donations video. Last but not least, we have this five and a quarter inch floppy disk box. It's just a generic white box that holds floppy disks, but somebody put an Elephant Memory System sticker on there, which is pretty cool. And how I know this isn't an official Elephant Memory System disk box is because I have some and they're yellow and there's lots of printing on them. And this, as you can see, there is no printing other than the decal on the box. But... What's cool about this is I got this box at the same estate sale as the other discs and it was only a couple bucks, but inside there are lots of floppies that are Tandy Terrasady related and we've got the file cabinet library. Anybody watching, if you know what this is about, um, comment below and let me know. I am a Commodore 64 Apple II guy specifically, but I do appreciate other retro computers, as you know from watching my channel, but I know nothing about news groups or compilation discs like this from back in the day. So any help you could provide would be greatly appreciated. So let's go ahead and flip through these real quick. Next one, file cabinet library number 23. And it's got LDOS 6.3 on there. Uh, there we go, get it in the shot, sorry about that. Um, and then here we've got Computer News 80, Wyoming, uh, what is that? Casper, Wyoming. So this must have been a group or an organization in Casper, Wyoming. If you know anything about them or you were a part of that group, let me know in the comments. It'd be cool to find out more about these discs. And here we go. More filing cabinet. Filing cabinet stuff. And this is interesting. TRS link number 35. Uh, distributed by Computer News 80. So this might be some sort of newsletter, news group type of thing from a computer club back in the day. I have no idea. I know we had that for like Commodore and Apple II computers back in the day. So I'm assuming TRS-80 stuff had a similar groups. So yeah, look at that. Here's some of these discs. And I, I will not be holding on to these, but if there's someone watching and you'd like to have these, you know, reach out to me. My contact details are on my About page. I'd be happy to send these out to you. And before we wrap this video up, I'd like to give a quick shout out to my Patreon supporters. These are the folks that support me on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash geek with social skills. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed my pickups, trades, and donations video for September 2022. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you in the next video.